A chainsaw in the hands of J.P. Gauthier does much more than bring down a tree. It's used to create works of art. J.P. is busy preparing to welcome his peers to the first ever chainsaw competition Thursday, April 24th through Sunday, April 27th in Welland. You're already drawing a little traffic to this corner already, aren't you? <laughs> yes, oh yes. Yeah. Uh, on a nice day like today, you, the windows are down and you hear, hey buddy. <laughs> if I wanted to be a politician, I could just sit there and wave all day. And <laughs> that would work. <laughs> but Is some of this traffic slowing you down a bit or does it help promote the show? Oh, I, it, I believe it uh, helps promote the show and people are seeing something that, uh, wow, it, you know, it's not something you see every day. So uh, I'm attracting a crowd, yeah. Most of the time I don't know what I'm carving until I start the saw. <laughs> so, like you said, it just flows. It's uh, something that, uh, uh, it's a gift that uh, I'm born with or whatever, you know. It's the, it's the way the mind works. Yeah. Now, has this gone past a hobby? Is this actually a, oh, a this living? Oh, full time now, yes, full time. Uh, in the last five years, I had to slow down. I was in my garage at home, I ended up filling it with carvings. I couldn't even walk through it anymore. So it was time to slow down and start, you know, selling some of them. And uh, I started on that and then uh, along came John and he came up with this idea to hold a carving event. So that's what uh, the plan is. 12 pro carvers from across the province are expected to attend the event. It's great to, to actually attend one of these because you get to see all the uh, other carvers' uh, artwork as well. And uh, it just helps you in your own mind to, to be able to try something new or a different idea, you know, for your own carving. So uh, these guys, uh, there's uh, an event in uh, Buckhorn, uh, London, uh, the whole idea was to get one here in uh, uh, here in Welland so we can get uh, the Niagara Peninsula uh, have an event here and then every month there's always a, a different event going on so uh, April and November are the only two months that uh, pretty much opened up so that's why I decided to hold it now. On Friday, Saturday and Sunday carvers will be given one hour to carve something from scratch before the finished items are auctioned off to the public. So that means that we take a log of our choice and we have one hour to uh, make something of it. And after that one hour, we give the guys another hour to clean them up and uh, uh, get them ready for uh, show and sale. Uh, because at six o'clock in the evening, we're gonna have uh, an auction for the one hour quick carves and possibly some of the other carvings that the carvers have as well. And then uh, we're gonna follow up on that on Saturday as well. We're gonna have another one hour quick carve and. Uh, it's pretty amazing what we can do in an hour. Uh, You've attended all these other shows. What are your feelings now that you're hosting one of your own? I've been wanting to do it for a while and uh, it's exciting right now. Uh, the way I've got it set up here now, it's perfect location. We've got uh, two city blocks long. We're gonna be stretching out the carvings over and uh, just give somebody uh, something really nice to look at when you're stuck at the traffic light, for, <laughs> for instance. So. And with the bridge being down, there's a lot more traffic. So that's what's uh, exciting for the guys too, because the more exposure we get, the better it is for uh, all of us. And it's something families just love to watch. See wood come to life at the corner of West Main and Prince Charles Drive in Welland. The event is free and goes all day long on April 24th, 25th, 26th, and 27th. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.